Hello everyone, this is a lovely Saturday morning. I am Donna the Blonde Psychic. Let's go ahead and get your tarot reading for the day. We're continuing using the traditional Rider Waite tarot deck. And I know today's going to be a bit juicy. This message is going to be a bit juicy and in your face. This is just the energy I'm getting from it. I'm vibing really high today. I'm going to a job I love to do. And it's just great energy all around, okay? So let's find out. What's the cards want to say to you today? Yes, Ten of Swords, the Empress, and Eight of Swords. This is beautiful energy. You've got a lot of inner swords happening here. But at the moment, you're feeling stuck. You're feeling stagnant. You're feeling overwhelmed with something that's going on in your life, okay? This is the Eight of Swords energy it brings to you. You don't know how to move forward. So we're kind of going backwards from yesterday's reading, but that's okay. It's okay to fluctuate between happy and sad, good and bad. It's part of life. It's a part, a part of um, everything we do in this day and age, in this day that we're living in, day and age that we're living in. So we've got the Eight of Swords here, okay? The meaning of this sword, and this is the deck I refer to when I do all my referrals back to this deck, is you're feeling stuck. You don't know how to move forward. But my darlings, you do. The good news here is you can just take that blindfold off. You can untie yourself. Those swords aren't imprisoning you where you are. It's yourself keeping you imprisoned. You're, and this, and pretty funny that you got swords because they are of uh, the deck of our voices and our the way we speak to ourselves and our voices being heard and the way we treat ourselves and our voices being heard. You are constantly playing in a loop over and over again in your head. You can't let this situation go. So you're putting yourself through double torture by thinking about it, okay? But this is good because it's saying you're not, even though you are keeping yourself stuck, there is hope. You can free yourself from this burden. And look, she can walk freely, free herself from this because she's not imprisoned totally by the swords and bring an end to the situation, a finality, if you will. And this will actually happen because... They are there. The situation is going to end once and for all. It's going to come to a head, a conclusion, and there will be no more of this energy, okay? You're going to have a new beginning completely. I feel like this is even a new beginning you're going to bring towards your own life, towards your own self, to oneself, and it is the Empress here. She is the birth of a new era. She is sunshine. She is powerful. She takes control. So by transforming the situation, you are taking control of it and no longer letting it have any power over you. Look how much you have grown. This is a process and this is a gradual process because it is a hard situation that keeps getting brought up again and again by the universe. As I said yesterday, it's a test and you keep going back and forth because it is a test that you are trying to get through and you will have days where you pass it successfully and you will have some days where you want to bite back and want to say something. So just know that that's completely okay. The process that you're going through is okay. Good and bad are going to happen. Happy and sad are going to happen. Ultimately, you are in charge of your own being and you will get on top of this situation. 